Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson two, interpreting rate of change and initial value. So this classwork here says linear functions are defined by the equation of a line. The graphs of the equations of the lines are important for understanding the relationship between the two variables represented in the following example as x and y. So example one says rate of change and initial value. The equation of a line can be interpreted as, a, a def, as defining a linear function. The graphs and the equations of lines are important in understanding the relationship between the two types of quantities represented in the following examples by x and y. Sound familiar? In the previous lesson, you encountered an MP3 download site that offers downloads of individual songs with the following price structure. A $3 fixed fee for monthly subscription plus a fee of 25 cents per song. The linear function that models the relationship between the number of songs downloaded and the total monthly cost of downloading songs can be written as y equals 0.25x plus 3. 25 cents per song, where x is number of songs, y is the total cost, and 3 is the monthly fixed fee. So where x, and that's what this says right here, so I'm not going to read that. In your own words, explain the meaning of 0.25 within the context of the problem. So 0.25 is our slope or our rate of change or our rate, and that would be cost of each song. It's 25 cents. Part B says, in your own words, explain the meaning of three within the context of the problem. Well, that would be our y-intercept or our initial value. So at the beginning of the month, we have to pay a fixed fee. So that is the $3 fee that occurs monthly for the subscription. And uh, the value represents in the function can be interpreted in the following way. Y equals 0.25X plus 3. Rate of change and the initial value. So the rate of change is your M and your initial value is your B or your Y intercept. Okay, moving on. The coefficient of X is referred to as the rate of change. It can be interpreted as a change in the values of y for every one unit increase in the value of x. When the rate of change is positive, the linear function is increasing. In other words, increasing indicates that as the x value increases, so does the y value. So it would look like this. going As you went to the right, as you're going to the right, it is going up. When the rate of change is negative, the linear function is decreasing. Decreasing indicates that as the x value increases, the y value is decreasing. So that would be a decreasing slope here. The constant value is referred to as the initial value or y-intercept and can be interpreted as a value of y when x equals 0. Okay, so that's just a carry, carry away from lesson 19 to 20, 20, 21, 22, all the way through 26, we did that in module 4. Okay, so now exercises 1 through 6, it says, is it a better deal? Another site offers MP3 downloads with a different price structure, a $2 fixed fee for a monthly subscription, plus a fee of 40 cents per song. Write a linear function to model the relationship between the number of songs downloaded and the total monthly cost. As before, let X represent the number of songs downloaded and Y is the total monthly cost in dollars of downloading the song. So we have Y equals some X plus some B. So there's my structure of my equation, just like it showed at the bottom of this page here. We're doing this right here. So the rate of change goes before your X and your initial value is your constant at the end. Okay, so what we're paying at the constant at the end is our initial value of $2, so that goes there. And it's 40 cents per song, so it's 0.40x. So the equation is y equals 40 cents per song plus a $2 monthly fee. Now it says to determine the cost of downloading zero songs and 10 songs from this site. So what they're saying is take that equation, y equals 0.40x, plus 2, and we're going to substitute in 0 and 10. So I'll just write this twice for starters. y equals 0.40x plus 2. 
and I'm going to substitute in 0 for x. So this would be y equals 0.40 times 0 plus 2. So therefore, y equals 40 cents times 0 is 0 plus 2. So the answer would be $2. So if you do not download any songs but you join, they would still charge you the $2. So now I'm going to substitute in 10. That means I bought 10 songs one month. And they charge me $2 to join. So $2 plus 10 cents per song. 40 cents times 10 is $4. And the $2 for the initial cost or the membership fee, that would be a total of $6 for 10 songs. Okay, number three says the graph below already shows the linear model for the first subscription site, Company 1, which was Y equals 25 cents per song plus $3 for the, the signing fee, or what do they call it exactly? Fixed fee, monthly subscription fee. Okay, so that's graphed. Monthly subscription fee, $3. And... The rate of change is, for that $3, was $0.25 cents per song. So that is uh, 0.25 or up one over four, one quarter. So $0.25 cents right here, if we're going to graph a uh, function, we want the rate of change as a ratio. And then we do rise over run on the graph. So we're going to go up one and over four. And that would put me right here. So that's how they graph this line. We started at the y-intercept three, which is my initial value, and then did rise over run of a fractional value of this decimal. Okay? Now it says to graph the equation of the line of the second subscription site company by making the two points from your work in exercise two. So there's my work in exercise two and it is y equals 0.40x plus 2. So I'm going to, my y-intercept is here. That is how much they charge a month to join this club. And then it's 0.4. So if I have y equals 0.40x plus 2, I want this to be a fraction. So that is actually 4 tenths x plus 2. And that would reduce to 2 fifths x plus 2. So this is how I'd graph it. So I put a point at 2. This tells me to go up 2, right 5. So if I go up 2 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I am right here. And then I graph the line. So if I bring my ruler down, put it right at that 2 mark, rotate it up so it goes through this point, so that is the graph of the other company. So at this point, five songs would cost $4. Where with the other company, four songs cost $4. So this company, the company B is cheaper, or company two is cheaper than company one, up until we get to a point where they meet and then company two becomes more expensive. So if you download a lot of songs, company A would be the better choice. Okay, which line has a steeper slope? Okay, well the slope is the one with the greater rate of change. 40 cents is more than 25 cents. So um, company B, company, well it's company two. I keep saying company B, company two has a steeper slope. Okay, and then it says which company's model has a more expensive cost per song? That's the same question. It's also company two, which is 0 0.40, which is greater than 0.25. Which function has the greater initial value? Company A, or company one. Company one's initial value was $3, which is greater than two dollars which was company two this is company one six says which subscription site would you choose if you wanted to download five songs per month so what they want you to do here is go back to this graph 
five songs per month is right here. So if I go up to five and then over and read the four, okay, the blue one is company two. So I should have labeled that company two because they did label company one here. So I'll say company two. Okay, so company two, five songs was $4. So that's the point five comma four. Company one costs a little bit more. It's up here at $4 and change. Okay, and without substituting five into the equation, actually it'd be 25 cents, I believe. That is, yes, five comma 4.25. Those are the two costs at $5. So which subscription site would you choose if you wanted to download five songs per month? The cheaper one, Company 2. Which company would you choose if you wanted to download 10 songs? So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the graph. So if I go up to here, Company 1, 10 songs is, and I'll put this at here, 10 comma, Company 1 is halfway between five and six, so that's five fifty. So it would cost five dollars and fifty cents for ten songs from company one and company two would cost six dollars for ten songs. Okay, so company one is cheaper if you buy ten songs. Okay, which company would you choose if you want to download ten songs? So for ten songs company one is cheaper. Now it says to explain your reasoning, I'm just going to say it and I have said it. Company one, 10 songs is $5.50. Company two, 10 songs would cost $6. Okay, so company one is 50 cents cheaper. Okay, exercises seven through nine, aging autos. Number seven, when someone purchases a new car and begins to drive it, the mileage, meaning the number of miles the car has traveled, immediately increases. Let X represent the number of years since the car was purchased and Y represent total miles traveled. The linear function that models the relationship between the number of years since purchased and the total miles traveled is Y equals 15,000 X. Identify the, and interpret the rate of change. That would mean Every year, the car was driven 15,000 miles. Identify, interpret the, and the initial value. Well, the initial value is zero. So the initial value means when the car was new, In other words, zero years driving, the car was driven zero miles. Okay. C says, is the mileage increasing or decreasing each year according to the model? Explain your reasoning. It is increasing. Fifteen thousand is positive. Therefore, the slope is positive, or the rate of change is positive. It's increasing. Number eight: When someone purchases a new car and begins to drive it, generally speaking, the resale value of the car in dollars goes down each year. So, the older the car, the less it's worth. Let X represent the number of years since purchase, and Y represent the resale value of the car in dollars. The linear function that models the resale value based on the number of years since purchase is 20,000 minus 12, 1,200x. Identify and interpret the rate of change. So this means the rate of change now, remember, they just wrote this backwards. This is the same as writing y equals negative 1,200x plus 20,000. Okay, they just wrote it backwards which is okay because our initial value of the car is 20,000. We're going to subtract an amount every year from that, so it's easier to calculate. So identify and interpret the rate of change. 
the rate of change is negative 1,200. And that means negative $1,200 per year. This car is decreasing in value by $1,200 per year. The initial value is what you paid for the car, $20,000. Okay, I'm not going to write it, but it is what you paid for the car. C, is the resale value increasing or decreasing each year according to the model? Decreasing. Decreasing. Why? Rate of change is negative. Suppose you are given a linear function at y equals 2.5x plus 10. Write a story that can be modeled by the given linear function. Okay. Say I had a magazine subscription. Or even going back to, well, let me think of something else. Mm, okay. Let's just say I want to join a company to watch TV. So let's just say we are um, Netflix. Okay. Netflix charges $10.00. Per month for subscription fee, comma, and two dollars and fifty cents per movie download. Okay, so there's a story that would model this. So $10 a month plus $2.50 per movie. What is the rate of change? The rate of change is the $2.50 per month. And that means cost of renting each movie. What is the initial value? The initial value is $10. The meaning in this story is, that is a monthly fee. Okay. All right. That is a short lesson. That is the end of lesson two. Review the lesson summary and go do your problem set.